Here we go, y'all, with a fresh NRW for August 26, 2015. I'm your host, Patrick Michael Strange, and I'm going to break it down with the hashtag top three from three. My guest for this week, Scorp King Costuming, a.k.a. the co-founder of Coslove, my homie, my partner, my brother from another mother, Wendell Smith. Also on the show, returning my gal from the 501st Garrison Tyrannus, Anna Mitchell. You know her as the owner of the Sith Pony. Really cool. Check that out if you've never heard of the Sith Pony. But before we get into all that, I want to take a moment of silence for some members of our Bat family that we recently lost. First up, Yvonne Craig, a.k.a. Batgirl, on our 60s TV show Batman. Rest in peace. And as well as DMV's own Leonard B. Robinson, also known as the Baltimore Batman, also known as the Route 29 Batman. Two titans that we lost in our Batman family. We really miss these folks, and we we're going to take this moment right now to show our love and have this moment of silence for them. Here we go. My name is Anna Mitchell. I'm with Garrison Tyrannus, and these are my picks for this week. My first pick is Godzilla in Hell. I've read the first one. I kind of want to see if it kind of gets any less weirder, but the art was good. Um, just the story was a little interesting in the first comic, so hopefully it will get a little better in the second one. Um, my second pick of the week is, of course, Star Wars, Lando number three. We've got to see what that suave Lando is doing. So I'm really looking forward to that one. And my third pick of the week is Mad Max. Everybody, I, want, I love it, so that's everybody. So I love the Mad Max, and I'm really looking forward to seeing that. Hey, y'all, this is Wendell Smith, co-founder of Coslove, producer of Dark Awakenings. I'll come back to that later. First pick of, the, of this week for me is Zombie Tramp number 14. Why did I pick it? I'm a Walking Dead fan. And then this is a chick who got zombie eyes, and hey, it looks, it looks interesting to me, so I'm going to go ahead and check it out. She was a girl of the night, brother, a call girl that got bit. Like I said, she looked interesting, man. I mean, Trump. what I can't, I'm trying to keep this PC. Yeah. Kid qualified, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, next pick, because of my love of Harley Quinn. Don't really care too much about the joke because he was a little too nuts for me, but Harley Quinn is my girl, so, you know, Harley Quinn 19. What else do I have to say? It's Harley. You got the red and the black, and her almost as crazy behind doing things that the normal person wouldn't do. And lastly, but not least, like I said, co-producer of Dark, Awakening, uh, Dark Awakenings. It's a Star Wars fan film that we made and actually released on March 1st of this year. We have almost 200,000 hits. Go check it out on YouTube. Dark Awakenings. My last pick, Star Wars Legends, Rise of the Sith. If you can't tell, I've got the Star Wars 7, you know, Sith logo on the shirt. I've got Mr. Doug on cross guard on my shirt, looking bad. And then in the movie, I actually happened to play a Sith myself and a couple of other kind of deadly characters. But you'll see that once you watch the Doug on film. Either way, my three picks, Zombie Tramp, Harley Quinn, and last but not least, Star Wars Legends, Rise of the Sith. Check us out. Hey, people, this is Patrick, and these are my picks for your new release Wednesday of August 26th. First up, y'all know I'm a Valiant guy. I have Ninjak number six from Valiant Entertainment being written by Matt Kent with art by Raul Allen. This is a great jumping on point, people, if you haven't been picking up Ninjak. Uh, thus far, from Ninjak 1 through 5, he's been combating this group called Weaponeer. It ended at him in killing, spoiler alert, Cannon. And now he's going after the rest of the Shadow 7. So this arc starts the Shadow Wars. You're going to want to check it out. If you're not familiar with Ninjak, let me just tell you this. Combine Batman with James Bond, and there you go. You get Ninjak. Really cool character. If you haven't been checking him out, you're going to want to check it out. It's an awesome premise. So with my second pick... I have Book of Death, The Fall of Ninjak. This whole Book of Death arc that they have going on right now gives you all of the different things that are going to happen to our favorite Valiant characters. And with the fall of, I think a couple weeks ago, we had the fall of Bloodshot. In the fall of Ninjak, we're going to know the final fate of Ninjak. The one thing I really love about Valiant 
they really don't mind telling you what's going on with the characters. They have this really huge, cool story, and they will tell you what's going to happen, and how they lead up to it is the adventure. So really cool, really excited to check out The Book of Death, The Fall of Ninjak. We, on, on the art chores, we have the amazing Trevor Hairsign, who you love if you follow the Ultimates over at Marvel. Really cool stuff, Book of Death, Fall of Ninjak. For my top pick, I have a little girl, and it's really hard finding comics for a little girl. And so I have from Dark Horse Comics, Zodiac Star Force number one. It's being written uh, and illustrated by the team off of Bravest Warriors, if you're following that popular kids cartoon comic. Really cool stuff. It follows a set of high school teenage girls that when they're not in high school, combining these evil forces that are coming to the earth and creating havoc. Really cool stuff. Shout out to, I think, Kevin Panetta. I want to make sure I give shout outs to the right squad on the writing chores and Paulina Ganuchow. Uh, on the art choice. Cool stuff. Zodiac Star Force number one is my top pick. Those are my picks, y'all. Check it out. All right, people, that is our show for the NRW of August 26, 2015. Happy to have back my gal, Anna Mitchell, and my homie, my brother from another mother, my Cost Love co founder, Wendell Smith. Get Smith. Smith. Throwing the hearts up real quick. That's what we do with Cost Love. So, y'all are Star Wars fans like me. Yeah. Right, right. Just a little yeah, bit. Yeah. Y'all just you just happen to run one of the coolest organizations in the area of the 501st Garrison Tyrannus. Check them out. And she has the Sith Pony. If you haven't heard, have you seen her Sith Pony? No. Yeah. I've been too, doing too Listen, much Mando you, stuff. You are super Sith, man. So <laughs> yeah. You yeah. Check that out her that pony. and 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 Dog on Mando's has been my life. Yeah. True. It's bad. With man. our homie John Walk over there. Nice. Big John. Shout out to my man. Um, but I really wanted to get y'all's opinions on The Force Awakens, because, you know, with us being la, Star la, Wars la, fans, la, la. I know you're trying to la, shut la, it down, la, 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 but <laughs> we've been seeing more trailers come out, some um, images in Entertainment Weekly. I just got that in the mail. We're getting a little bit more tidbits, and D23 just occurred, and we got oh, some information from there on that. How y'all feeling? Yeah. Uh, okay, you're shutting it down. Yeah, man, I but don't we, know we, I, I'm excited. I'm way too excited. You know, I heard, I, how many I, times I, are you gonna watch it in the theater when um, it drops? Well, four, four <laughs> before times New Year's, on like Friday. four times just on Friday alone. <laughs> before New Year's, before, before New, New Year's, Year's. <laughs> probably five or six. Yeah. Five or six times, yeah. and yeah. like like this Anna deserves said, repeated viewing. It might, it might be two or three times in one day. Even yeah, if it's yeah. like, as, like even if it, well, it's not gonna be bad. But nah. I mean, I do, I have we have a troop on the midnight release, and then we have a troop on Saturday night. I'm probably gonna go down to Richmond Friday to support a release down there. You know, and that's and Sunday, I'll another take thing my I dad. wanted to add in. Actually, I was gonna drop that because uh -huh. I know of two groups that wanted Cost Love and to bring our Star Wars. Oh, really? the, remember, we did the whole Avengers yeah, thing. They want us uh, back. They want us back at that theater. I don't know if I can. And uh, I was trying to get official. So by that time, because you, my homie, with the yeah, whole yeah, running yeah, the whole we'll show get and getting official <laughs> with costume and everything, I don't think I have my trooper costume by then. Yeah. But you know, at least wear well, something. Get it soon. We can, we can, we can get it done. We can get a TK done. Like, <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna need help, y'all know. Uh, just, get the armor parties going. That's, yeah, that's all it is. is Getting the armor parties started. But I'm excited about because we're I all gonna am. come together. We got a, a new movie, and you know when that happens, the excitement, everybody's all about it. Yeah. So I can't. All like, of our friends and family. All the costumes. I'm yeah. like, I can't wait. All right, y'all. That has been our episode. We're. Our, our force has awakened. My excitement is, <laughs> yeah. hey, Ashley, before we go, my little one, Madison, come on over here real quick. She's out here tonight uh, on this taping during, during this episode. Y'all haven't seen her yet. Y'all he, hear me talking about her all the time on the show. So I just want to show real quick. Say hello, everybody. Hello. All right. That has been our episode, New Release Wednesday. Um, before we go, sign off. Tell everybody where they can catch y'all at if they want to check you guys out. Scorpion Costuming on Facebook. And Anna? If you want to check out Sith Pony's Facebook, she's facebook.com slash Sith Pony. And I am Patrick Michael Strange. You are watching New Release Wednesday for Anna Wendell, my little one, Madison. That is New Release Wednesday for August 26, 2015. Remember to like us on Facebook and subscribe to us on YouTube. Cost love, y'all, and we are out of here in our dub. <laughs>